Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Welcome to Line in the Sand, and I'm Pastor Manuel Johnson, and I have Apostle David with me here today, and he is the host. I'm the co-host. I just want you to just welcome all of you in Jesus' name. Amen. It's good to see you again. Come into all of your homes around the world. We have 45 nations that are watching us. Glory to God. Is God good or is God good? And I, like we always say, you do not have to be a part of the bad news. You know why? Because the good news is that you don't have to be part of the bad news. Glory to God. I have some exciting guests here with us from India, originally from India. And, you know, we're going to be talking with them. But first, Apostle David has a wonderful, wonderful event he wants to talk to you about that's coming up in the near future, and we want you to be a part of it. Apostle David, Yes, my Bless brother, us. how are you? And I just want to say hello to my dear friends, Pastor David and his dear sister. And uh, they may not know that I'm pastoring a church in India. Right oh, you now, are? Okay. In Bangalore, yes. I'm Praise with uh, uh, Joyce Peters. Do you know Joyce? Funny oh. chance? Yes, we're at, uh, at uh, I forgot the name of the church. Wow, <laughs> how embarrassing is that? Mm. Mount Zion International Church, yeah. Anyway, uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about the time and the season that we are in right, That's right. now. That's right. And, this, and uh, we have come into a season that is a biblical season. We've, been, we've heard so much uh, through the past number of years about uh, the blood moons and the, and the solar eclipse and different things that are happening on the feast days. And uh, there are people that mock that. They, they don't understand what the scripture is talking about. And some people have labeled certain things in such a way that it makes it hard for people to receive uh, when something doesn't take place. But I, I, I do want to talk about the time and the season. According to uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse 14, the Lord appointed times and seasons when he would meet with his people. And uh, we... And he, he made on the fourth day, it says that he created the sun to rule by day and the moon to rule by night and the stars and placed them in the heavens as signs. And we need to understand that God has something that he's directing and he doesn't want the church or his people, Israel, to be caught unaware. He's placed signs in the heavens and he's set them apart and called feast days that line up with the times in those seasons. And uh, we have come into a season, and a particular time in season, uh, that is spoken of, of, of concerning the scriptures. Now, for many years, many of you know that uh, we have put on the line in the sand uh, stadium encounters uh, to pray uh, for revival and a particularly at the time of the blood moons and the solar eclipses, because God did those times in his seasons. He was speaking to the church to be aware and to be awake, because we're not to be caught unaware. We're supposed to know the season. We may not know the exact date, but we know the season. Mm. And we've come into the season. And, uh, and right now, just so that uh, from a biblical understanding, I, that... Uh, that the prophet Joel gave a, gave a prophecy. He said that, that the sun would be darkened and the moon would turn blood red before the great and terrible day of the Lord. But then he said that there would be a great outpouring. So we need to understand that we've come into an, a season when God is talking. And many people don't understand that when the sun particularly is darkened, God is speaking to the Gentile nation. When it pertains to the to the solar eclipses, he's speaking to Israel. Come on. And we've come into a season now where he's speaking to the whole planet at mm. one time. Come on. And we need to be aware that we've come into the season of God. And God is bringing about these solar eclipses and blood moons on specific days and times uh, that are his time, according to scripture, to meet with man. And, we, and so God is intervening in the, in the affairs of man right now in ways that we need to understand. And we need to understand that before the great and terrible day that, that, the, that the sun would be 
darken and the moon turn blood red. What that refers to is it's not saying that it's going to happen on that day. What it's saying to is that it's a preparation to get our attention. The Lord spoke to Israel and he said, you, you look at in the heavens and you see that the clouds are red and you know that the that uh, the dawn is, is coming and there's rain coming, but you don't understand the times and the seasons. He, he was speaking to Israel that they were, that that the signs are there and that in his generation things were happening that should have gotten Israel's attention, but they didn't understand even those signs. And that the magi that had come from from Babylon uh, were uh, were long students of the prophet Daniel who had 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 taken over the school of the magi and had had and Daniel taught them the scriptures to of understanding and so that they knew <coughs> that there was a star coming that would point the season and the time when the Messiah would come. We also know that there was a total uh, eclipse eclipse of the sun on the day that Jesus died and so we need to understand that 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 there again it was on the uh, Jesus um, died on the Passover or, and uh, he came into the um, and we see that God is again trying to get our attention he's trying to show us what the time is now we're coming into a season in which Jesus himself talked about he said that a generation would not pass until all of these things take place, and, he, and it began with the birth of Israel. Israel is coming into its 70th year, Manuel, mm. and, and, and Jesus talked about all of the things that would be fulfilled before that happened. Well, that's going to happen in May, the next coming May, the fulfillment of all the things, and, and within that time, he talked about the things that the beginning of sorrows and the beginning of sorrows actually uh, marks the 70th week of the book of Daniel. So we're going to begin the 70th week. The 69th week ended at the crucifixion and, uh, and then the, the 70th week is about to begin. And so we're, we're in a biblical history time and we need to understand the God's people need to be prepared. We need to, to know that our God is holy and that he is looking for a holy people. Amen. And one thing that has left the church is the fear of God. Mm. <coughs> we need to fear God. <coughs> and fear is what keeps us living and believing that we can live a compromised life when God calls for holiness. And any, I want you to understand that anything that we carry with us, any compromise that we carry with us, we will, uh, on, if we're carrying that compromise with us, on the day that we die, we're going to carry it into eternity with us. And that compromise will be judged. It may be the line between heaven and hell mm -hmm. to many people who are living a good life, but they are not living a holy life, and they know better. That's right. They're living a compromised life. Mm -hmm. And there are people living on both sides of the line. And I know pastors that are living in adultery, pastors that are liars. And I, I'm not just talking about pastors, but pastors should know better. And uh, we have come into that time when it's unacceptable. And one of the things that happens in that 70, uh, in that time, uh, in, according to Matthew chapter 24, is the preparation of the bride. God is going to take Jesus coming for a bride without spot or wrinkle. And, and Jesus is talking about the virgins. And there are virgins who are walking the line, are not ready. And when that time comes, it says that the door will be closed and it will not open again. Are you ready, my brother? We are coming uh, on October 29th. Um, and I'd like to give you the address and, and invite you to come and be a part of a prayer gathering, an intercession gathering, as the nations come together, uh, we'll be meeting at uh, Grace International Church in Fullerton. And uh, here's the, and let me give you the information here. It's October 29th. It's a Sunday from 5 to 8 p.m. Grace International, uh, and the address is 150 South Brookhurst Street, Fullerton, California, 92833. The telephone number is area code 
1-800-242-6200. And I'm asking you to come and let's get together, get down on our knees and beseech God for a move of God. Because that is the promise <coughs> that Joel gave, that the Lord God gave, the Holy Spirit gave to Joel, that before that time, there would be a great and powerful move of God, mm. an outpouring. Not the former rain, but the latter rain. A latter rain outpouring. And before that time, and I want to tell you that according to uh, Revelations, and uh, between 6 and 8, that the same, the same outpouring, the same uh, move of God will be judgment to one person and glory to another. What will it be to you? God wants to change your life. And this is a time to, wow. to get our lives ready and, get, and, and uh, prepare because we have come into the season. God's trying to get our attention mm. and no one is going to be able to say you did not know. You did not know the time because we have come into the season without a doubt. And uh, let's prepare ourselves. Bless you, Pastor Matt. Wow. I pray that you receive that <laughs> and you be a part of this great event that's coming up. And I do believe we are in a, uh, a special season of the glory of the Lord moving in a way that it's not even expected, but it's going to happen. You want to be part of the glory, not a part of anything that's outside the glory. Because, you know, as you said, Apostle David, and I want to add to that, the time of Exodus, when the glory came down the mountain, they were not ready. They were not ready. That's Even right. though Moses said, hey, clean yourself up, take for three days, they were not ready because everything that they did was all exterior, but their hearts interior was not ready. So when the presence of God came, when it came on that mountain, when it, was, it wanted to, all God was telling Moses is, three days prior, he says, I'm going to go visit my people. But when it happened, Pamela, when it happened, Pastor David, God, the whole, God, his, his tone changed. That's right. He said, Just keep him away. Keep yeah. him away. That's right. Let him stay, you know, mm -hmm. or I'll, I'll, I'll kill him. Mm -hmm. The That's whole right. attitude changed. That's because right. God, because three days, God didn't just want them to work on the exterior, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but work on the interior, the heart. Amen. And had they worked on their heart, circumcised their heart, mm -hmm. There would never have been any boundaries on the mountain because Moses went past the boundaries, went right up the mountain. Absolutely. Glory yes. to yes. God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And we have to check our hearts out, saints. So we're part of the glory. We can get caught up in it, not watch it from a distance because we can't even touch it. God is calling a holy church, mm -hmm. not a church just to be good, but a church to live holy mm -hmm. and righteous before God. Amen. He wants all of us to walk before him. And because of what Jesus paid on the price, that is, that is there. Now, I don't want to get too much into that because I know myself. I'll tell him to pull a portrait here, but we don't want to do that right now. <laughs> I have some wonderful guests here. And first of all, many of you, I know you've seen them on our program before, but it's been a while. This is Pastor David from Hosanna Church. He's from, originally from India. And God has blessed his ministry. And, and he has blessed his ministry Really, and it's just that uh, many people, many of the Indians uh, from India come and, and they're part of the service. He has a midweek service and he has a Sunday service. I've been there several times. Every time I've been there, I've been blessed. Every time. And I'm talking, you know, off the, off the subject, they know how to dress. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> if you want to, I mean, that's not his, his, his service is not a fashion show, but they know how to dress. Oh they know how to dress, and they treat you with such hospitality there. I love it. And recently, uh, David, Pastor David and his wife and his family went to London yes. to, for vacation. Uh, you, everybody knows it's all over Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but what we didn't know was that he met, had a chance. He was viewing, I guess, television or watching television, and, and he saw Glory TV in London which we do have the founder and the CEO right here with us. Isn't, that, is, isn't God wonderful right here in California with us? This is not by chance. Yeah. This is not by chance. So he was watching her, and I want you to tell the rest. You were watching the program, and you decided to call. 
Yes, you know, when I go into London, so Pastor Emmanuel, I'm seeing someone house. Uh, I'm thinking about. Uh, uh, I, I watch the TV, but I think uh, I think about how I uh, call uh, Glory Channel. Mm. So when I see the TV, I watch TV. So actually, I have a lot of friends there, so I can tell anybody. But uh, um, the Lord Spirit uh, putting my heart. Why you to call direct Sister Pam? Mm. When I took the number, I call her. So when I call her, so she said, "Who's?" I said, "This is Pastor David. I'm from California, USA." Oh, she, Pastor uh, David, uh, I know you. Uh, I have several times, so I can produce a Glory Channel your program, so your song, and I have sometimes I have to sing song Kwali. Indian quality, maybe uh, uh, people know. So Indian Indian song. So Sister Pam said, please, uh, you can meet us. Uh, so um, after, I think, uh, uh, three, four days, I'm going to the Glory Channel. Glory Channel is uh, uh, their run is 24 hour, seven day week. So it's big channel. So, uh, so I'm, when I call her, so I'm so, so excited to go to the uh, Glory Channel. So I'm really appreciate to uh, the sister Pam and her husband. Uh, surprise! They give me time, uh, opportunity for uh, speak a lot of God, a word of God there, and also uh, sister Pam. They have own church there, so uh, Sunday they can meet uh, every Sunday six o'clock. Uh, first of all, I go into the Tuesday uh, seven to eight uh, eight o'clock there, and after that uh, she have a meeting also every Sunday. They can meet at church. Uh, Six to eight o'clock. So uh, I have a lot of friends there. They go with me, and uh, we, we are uh, share word of God, and uh, we sing in Indian uh, Christian sing song. So uh, we take blessing, and uh, a lot of lot of uh, people who are who are watched uh, Glory Channel. So many people take take blessing, and they so many people call Sister Pam. Uh, we are taking blessing. So I'm so happy to uh, meet uh, Sister Pam there. So now, really, but, but you brought, how did she come to California? <laughs> oh, I cal come California? No, no. Oh, how sister, <laughs> sister, no. Oh my God, this is very. I don't. When when we call her, sister, yeah. like to be, can I come uh, California? I said most welcome. Yeah, why not? You are my sister. So, and she, I'm I'm coming like a uh, Thursday, uh, 14 uh, September. And she's coming uh, eight, uh, 18, 18 September. 18 September. Yeah. So within maybe three, four days uh, difference. difference. So until she come <coughs> and we are together, so we are shared word of God. So a lot of, you know, we are going to home to home now. So uh, take a lot of uh, people take blessing. So we take blessing also. So we are so happy to Sister uh, Pam with us and also her son with us, but that are not here in the studio. He is in uh, my home. So anyway, so we are really, really happy with uh, Sister Pam from oh, yeah. Glory Channel. We, yes. it, well, listen, then. We, even uh, our lack of time, we're going we're gonna to talk to Pam for a few minutes and we'll give you a little bit more time on the next segment. Sure. But you and your husband started this ministry 10 years ago. Th uh, about 15 years about ago. About 15 years, excuse me, I'm five years yeah. off. And Glory TV. That's right. It's amazing. I had a chance to, uh, I was with uh, Pastor David in his home a few days ago, and I got the bulk of it. So I just want to give it to him. We'll have her speak a little bit more on the next segment, but you gave up nearly everything, sold everything. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Even your wedding ring. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> now, most people have a problem with that, but... You didn't. Not at all. The Lord spoke to you. That's correct, yes. And he said, do what you got to do. That's right. And so you guys are all over London and... All over Europe, yeah. Oh. We are on uh, Bureau Bird. Pam, I want you to look at that camera and tell yes, me. Yes, sure, yes. Glory Where are you? Uh, we are based in London. Okay. Um, and um, the network is called Glory TV. Uh, and it's a very first... Asian Christian channel, yes, right. um, giving the gospel in Urdu, Punjabi, Hindi, and some few other languages, of course, English as well. Um, we, my husband and myself um, had this vision 
to reach out to the Indians and the Pakistanis that have come to the UK, Europe. Okay. Okay. And it was just purely what I had experienced. Um, the how love can of they Christ. get a hold of you? Oh, they can watch us live. Um, how yeah, can they w get a hold w of you right now. Sorry, which camera? Right straight That ahead. one. Uh, www.glorytv.co. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we stream live 24 7, so you can watch us all the way through every day. Yes. And, and for example, when they're in London, your church? Yes, we have a church. Uh, we meet in, in the area of Slough. Okay. And you are most welcome if you are visiting. Uh, please feel free to contact us. Uh, you'll find our details on www.glorytv.co. Um, and we will be more than happy to have you uh, fellowship with us. First of all, I want to tell you, Pam, your husband, I, I know he's watching us. Thank you for standing with the woman of God. Thank you for standing with your wife. It, ministry is not always easy. It may seem easy because you guys are watching us. It, well, it's not. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to toil. You have to, you have to work that soil. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Yes. You know, there are 15. They did a survey. Apostle David, Pastor David, uh, uh, Minister Pam, they did a survey. 1,500 a month pastors resign. Wow. Uh, oh, this is around global now, yeah. not just in the United mm -hmm. States, global. Mm -hmm. global, because they get tired, That's they right. get burnt out, mm -hmm. they get exhausted, mm -hmm. and the vision shuts down. That's right. And I'm here to tell you, don't do it. Okay. Fight a good fight. That's what, the, that's yes. what Paul said. That's right. Amen. That's fight right. a good fight. Fight. Amen. Hallelujah. Days yes. of encouragement. Paul was encouraged. Was was it was many times he had he had faced in, you know encouragement. And the Lord Lord came. An angel came and strengthened him and told him you must move forward. You know, Peter had his days. Elijah had a day. Oh my God, I'm the only prophet. Moses had days. Lord, if you this, we can do. Let me take me away from here. Kill me now. Oh we all have those days, but God is our strength. Amen. He is our strong tower. Amen. And I'm speaking to pastors and ministers right there that are, that, are, that are having weary times. Fight a good fight. That's why Paul said, I can do all things yeah. through Christ, through Christ. Yes. In, Christ in Christ who strengthens yes. me. We need strengthening yeah, because we're too. dealing with the flesh daily. We're mm. dealing with opposition. Mm. God says, he showed us that there's a remnant that's going to reign with him. Yes. It's going to be a remnant. Yep. Not everybody that's going to heaven is going to reign with Christ. He said, those that overcome Hallelujah. will sit with me. Amen. Those that overcome will reign with me. Yeah. Those that overcome will have manner. Those that overcome, he give a secret name. Those that overcome because there are people that God has called, Amen. you and I. We all have those days. It says, Lord, I'm having a day of weary. I need your strength. I need your guidance. I need that strengthening. Show me. Jesus had days he needed strengthening. That's right. The Bible said after he prayed many times, an angel came to strengthen him. That's right. That's right. Yeah. David, yeah. we need that. Glory days are coming. Amen. Glory days are coming. Mm -hmm. Now, for those of you that have turned in for the very first time, who is this? Who are these people? Who is this? What, what, what are we talking about? Glory. Uh, it's been. We're here because of Jesus. Yes. Amen. That's why we're here. We're here because of Jesus. If we were not here, we're all full-time ministry. We're here because of Jesus. If we, if, if it wasn't Jesus, we would be working several jobs right now. That's right. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't right. be here. <laughs> But we're here because of Jesus. Amen. Something happened in our life. Hallelujah. Where God came and intervened and opened our eyes to the truth. Yes, amen. We gave our life to the Lord. And we're all from, from different parts. I'm from California. David's from California. You're from California too, aren't you? Well, some of us is from there. <laughs> we're from India, where there's over a million gods in India. Yeah. <laughs> but let, it didn't stop the love of God to coming and coming into David's life, amen. his wife's life. Pam's life and his her, her husband's life, and God's using them Amen. Thank mightily. You. Yes. Amen. Give it is time. The Bible said, "Now is the time of salvation." Yes. Now is the time of salvation. 
Jesus paid a price he never owed, and we owe a price we can never pay. Mm -hmm. Call upon the name of the Lord right now. Thank you. Jesus, be my Lord and Savior. Save me right now. Put my name in the Lamb's book of life. Call on his name right now. You need a Savior. You cannot be saved. Amen. You cannot save yourself. You, have, you don't have enough righteousness to save yourself. I'm sorry about that. But the good news is Jesus has enough Amen. righteousness to do it. Hallelujah. So if you called on his name from your heart right now, as I know many of you are watching, he has saved you. He has saved you right now. He put your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Get into a Bible-filled church. Yes. Spirit-filled. Get a Bible. And thank the Lord every day for saving you. Thank you. This is lying in the sand. Host, Apostle David Andrade. I'm the co-host. I'm glad to be here. David, thank you for allowing us to be here. Thank you for allowing the guests to be here. We're yeah. going to talk some more in the next segment. But we love you all. In Jesus' name, we'll see you next time. God bless you. Bye-bye.